good afternoon. Welcome to the Lunchtime News from ITV Time Tees. A family has appealed for information about a missing mother and son from Middlesbrough eight years after they disappeared. Sarah Sisson and Harvey Belshaw were last seen in October 2016 after travelling to France. The pair were aged 37 and 12 at the time and have never contacted their loved ones since. They were later reported missing by Ms Sisson's brother. They are believed to have links to several countries in Europe as well as France. A motorist whose dangerous driving caused devastating injuries to three people in a crash in North Yorkshire has been sent to prison for three years. 64-year-old Peter Buttery was driving a Fiat 500 on the B1248 near Moulton in August 2021. He overtook a line of traffic on a bend and crashed into a Mazda MX-5 coming the other way and a motorbike. The motorcyclist suffered serious life-threatening injuries. Two people in the Mazda also suffered serious injuries. Club in Gateshead hopes to have its pitch ready to play this weekend after it was damaged in an arson attack. A car was driven onto the pitch at Wynn Leighton Community Football Club and then set alight. Northumbria Police are investigating. Just, just so difficult. Uh, we, we've all been volunteers. Uh, all work. Just, just to get it, get it sorted out makes it so time-consuming and difficult. In sports, Newcastle United will get to know Chelsea fairly well over the coming week. The Magpies travel to London to meet them in the Premier League on Sunday. Then, next Wednesday night, Chelsea visits St James's Park for a League Cup fourth round tie. Eddie Howe says it's an unusual situation. Yeah, I think it's interesting for from both them and us. You know, it's, it's unusual that you get to play the same team back to back. Um, and it's interesting that it's sort of away and then home because um, naturally that'll add complexities to um, game plans, etc. But I, I, I embrace the challenge, I look forward to it. And after their wins in midweek, there is no let-up for our championship sides. League leaders Sunderland face Oxford United tomorrow, while Middlesbrough are away to Norwich City. That one's on Sunday. We'll have the day's news and sport for you in our main programme at 6. The weather forecast is here for you next, and there's more, of course, on the website in the meantime. Enjoy the afternoon. Bye for now.